Hello, if you're new here, I'm Tortle and I'm a stop motion animator. On this channel, you can expect to see stop motion animation tutorials, a mixture of claymation, paper cutout, objects, anything goes here. So in this tutorial, I've decided to go with something a little bit simpler this week and to show you that you don't even have to have a lot of experience to create a really cool effect. Valentine's Day is coming up and so I thought I'd do a tutorial of a Valentine's themed animation and perhaps this might inspire you to make something like this for your loved one. So for this tutorial I am using red matchsticks. These are literally just matchsticks painted red and what I'm doing is I'm making this heart reveal. So the best way to do this and make sure that you get your heart perfect is to film the entire thing in reverse. So what you want to do is lay out your heart first, your perfect heart, and then gradually frame by frame you want to add in matchsticks from the edges of the frame. Now to begin with you want the movements of them coming in to be quite small but after about six or seven pictures you can start to make that movement a little bit bigger. So the speed that they're entering the frame is quicker and more and more matchsticks are coming in. This is really so simple. You know it's going to finish how you want because you've already created that final frame. And once the matchsticks are breaching the edge of the heart and you're starting to lose that visibility of the heart, you can really go a little bit crazy if you want and just start adding in more matchsticks and really speeding up things. Because when we play this in reverse, the madness at the beginning will slow down to reveal the heart at the end. All you need to do really is make sure that you've touched all the matchsticks. So make sure that each matchstick moves from frame to frame to keep the illusion consistent. Finally, when all of the matchsticks are together in the middle, I decided to pull my hands in, push the pile of matchsticks together and twist that pile with my hands frame by frame. So I'm just trying to twist incrementally the same amount, probably about an inch, doing that in a anti-clockwise direction and then I'm making those increments slightly smaller towards the last few frames so when you play this backwards it will start spinning clockwise it will ease into that spin and then it will spew out all the sticks to the edges of the frame and in the middle will remain this heart. Now in Dragon Frame you can toggle reverse sequence and this will play the entire thing backwards that's what I've done here and you can see it's really effective and this is so simple. Seriously, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you do make a animation for your loved one and you want to share it, do tag me on social media. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at Anime Tortor and I would love to see what you create. If you are liking the tutorials on the channel, I'm putting one out every single week. They'll be different every week and I'm open to suggestions in the comments. Please do make sure you're subscribed and give a big thumbs up on this video. Tap the bell icon to be notified every time a new upload goes live. 